Hello everybody, in this Rhino 7 video demo, I would like to show how we can apply a decal or product logo onto a 3D model. Okay, let's start. Let's use what we have on screen for illustration purpose. The first thing I want to do is to switch the mode to rendered. Okay, for faster manipulation of the 3D scene. Okay, next I will want to select the part that needs to be having a logo applied onto. Okay, which is this part. So I'm going to select it and then head over to the properties window okay to set the decal okay if the properties window is uh, not been shown okay you might want to click on this icon over here okay to display it okay now that uh, this window has been um, shown let's tap to the decal section okay and we will want to add a decal by clicking on this um, add decal plus sign okay so click on it and then browse and select the graphics to be applied as a decal In this case here is uh, this graphic here the bottle logo.png okay in our case here, it is a transparent PNG. The areas that are denoted as white are actually are transparent regions, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, click open. And the next thing that will be prompted is this decal mapping style, okay? And we are prompted to select the mapping style and the direction, okay? The mapping style consists of um, various types such as planar, UV, spherical, and spherical. Okay, in our case here, because the mapping is a rather flat one, I will want to select planar. Okay, and in the case of direction, I can select uh, forward. Okay, if I were to select both, the mapping projection will be displayed on both sides of the Water. okay so I'm not going to do that because I only want the logo to be on this side okay so I'm going to select forward and then click OK okay the next thing that Rhino prompts me is for the placement of the graphics itself so what I'm going to do is uh, let's head over to a view that we can place the image accurately in this case here is uh, this view okay so I'm going to click the first corner and the other corner okay and you notice that yeah the logo has been projected onto the model okay let's change this to rendered okay now the next thing that we will need to do is to reposition the logo to its intended location okay to do that what you need to do is to click on this okay click on it and the next thing you want to do is to right mouse click over the display option and then maybe select the wireframe option okay this will allow us to see the widget better in this case is this thing here okay now you can see over here this auto frame is the tackle widget okay so now what we need to do is to position it okay we can do so by dragging on the arrows for repositioning and the arc for rotation and the square for scaling okay so it's the same as how we will use the gumball okay so if I want to do a proportional scaling what I need to do is to press and hold the shift key and click on any of the scaling widget which is a square okay and then scale it up okay so I want to place it here okay somewhere like that okay and by the way if you need to 
do some kind of modification to the logo you might want to click on this uh, icon over here the edit icon and you open up a new window for us to do modification to the logo okay things that you might want to be aware of is the use alpha channel okay in this case here it is enabled okay if we were to disable it and if you were to click okay you will notice that okay over here that the transparent region has been displayed as white areas okay so that is not what uh, i want so in this case here i want the alpha channel to be used so i'm going to enable this okay and then you've got other options such as whether you want to repeat the logo or not okay Okay, once you have set necessary settings, you can click OK. Okay. And okay, once you have done your necessary adjustments, um you can turn off the widget display by clicking on this okay, hide widget, okay. And That's it. So now what I'm going to do is um let's reset it to our safe view, which is this, and set it to ray trace. Okay. With that, I come to the end of this demonstration. Hope that has been useful to you. See you around. Bye.